Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm be teaching you guys how can actually qualify for the finals of the PlayStation Cup. This is the most unique PlayStation Cup they've ever did. It's super complicated, so I'm gonna try my best to explain everything to you guys in today's video. We'll go first. Before video starts, though, please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're trying to get 30,000 subs by the end of the year, and I appreciate every single new person that has subbed to the channel. If you guys want to support me even more, you can do so by using code KDOG in the item shop. It's the best way to support me. It really does help me out a lot when you guys think. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into this video. All right, so if we just start off by reading the actual tournament details it says this event occurs across multiple stages top players at the end of each qualifier will advance to the finals qualifier one will utilize the architect game rules qualifier two will utilize the starting loadout game rules and qualifier three and the finals will use standard battle royale game modes so that is pretty much all the information they give you guys there is three separate qualifiers so this is very different from all the other playstation cups because there's only one qualifier you only have one chance and then after that you basically just have to hope that you're able to qualify into finals from the one single qualifier but this one there is three separate qualifiers and all three of them are different game modes starting off with qualifier one which is the first one which is going to happen on july 7th it is the architect game mode so if you guys don't know what the architect game mode is it's basically where you can edit every single player structure on the map so this one is going to be the probably most chaotic one out of every single one of the game modes because i don't really know how stacked end games are going to work because i mean if you just sit in a box anybody could just run up to your box at any time and just edit your walls and then instantly just like eliminate you super fast so i'm honestly not even 100 percent sure the best way on how to honestly play this what i would recommend is since playstation cups aren't region locked it's to play separate regions and then pretty much from there just on the like region that you get higher ping on like say you're a na west player like me play na east and then see like try to learn the strats for it and then on na west use those strats that you learn from east to do better on west and also if you guys have any tips for the architect game mode comment down below in the comment section because i have not personally played the architect game mode in a very very long time i know that there was a lightning cut for it a little bit ago but i did not get to play in that so if you guys have any tips for other people since this is a solos event and and then, like you don't have a teammate that can really help you out it is just you by yourself come to down below in the comment section next up is the actual starting loadout one actually let me talk a little bit more about the architect one so basically what you have to do is you have to get in the top 33 to qualify through um the architect one and then the starting loadout one and then you have to get top 34 in the regular battle royale one which is just like a normal tournament game mode you have to get top 34 in that to make it to the finals if you look at the actual format for this this is the only thing that really like kind of questions it a little bit because the format for every single one of these is 36 points for placement and only one point per elimination so this is like one of the biggest placement formats we've ever seen because most of the time it's usually around 25 to 30 points for a win and then one point per elimination but this one is 36 points so i think they're really trying to get rid of w king and playstation cups especially because like to qualify you always pretty much need either a really big first game but now you can really just play consistently you don't really need eliminations at all if you just play placement for all of your games you will be able to qualify in this tournament especially since it's only top 33 you will have a very very good chance to qualify if you're able to just clutch up and get into that like top five top 10 top three placement pretty much every single game so what i'd recommend is obviously trying to like maybe watch some videos on the architect mode or like any of the game modes before they actually come out and so you guys know like what you're going into and like you know maybe you're at an advantage to other players and things like that next up we have starting loadout so starting loadout in my opinion is one of the most fun ltms because it doesn't really require you to loot or anything and there is no rng on the map everyone has basically the exact same loadout every single person is going to spawn with i'm guessing that they're going to do an aug a striker and a combat or stinger smg and then you get like three minis and like maybe a flopper i'm pretty sure is the other thing that they give you so starting loadout is honestly probably one of the most fun ones to play it is basically just a regular battle royale except that you already have loot and everything like that so i'm guessing what this one is going to be in the more stacked lobbies a lot of people are just going to be landing on like uncontested places and trying to get their materials up and then there's going to be boxing up for pretty much the whole game storm search is probably going to be very high in this because a lot of people aren't really going to need to take early game fights to get more loot but the other thing about this also is that in starting loadout for like the early lobbies like the zero point lobbies it's going to be really hard to get high elimination games because you can just get landed on at any time and a lot of people just land in the most random places to third party you so i mean 
it's really hard to like pretty much w key in the first lobby so if you're able to get a good first lobby w key game then that would be really good but if you're not you aren't really required to w key in this like once again pretty much just like going back to the format since it is 36 points for a win you can pretty much just play placement in all of these like different qualifiers to try to qualify this one once again is also top 33 to actually make it to the finals finally it's just the regular battle royale stuff i've gone over regular battle royale stuff so many times on this channel pretty much just what you want to do is you just want to make sure you have a good w key game in your first game try to get like maybe anywhere between eight plus eliminations i would say that is a pretty decent w key game make sure that you're winning the game though because winning the game gives you so many extra points so i would just recommend going for that and then obviously just playing placement all the rest of your games you just want to play hard placement land somewhere either edge map or somewhere that you know how to loot pretty well and then run away with your loot try to get storm surge throughout the middle of the game take some shots on people and then run away and then also you want to make sure that you are playing spider-man in this meta or not spider-man but whatever the grapple glove is called that is what you want to be make sure that you are playing in this meta because that is the most important thing for solos it is possible to place good without it but it is so much easier to place good with the spider-man so to make sure that you guys are just grabbing that spider-man mythic other than that though that's pretty much all for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new remember we're trying to get 30k by the end of the year make sure you just go get on that i'm talking to support me even more if you want to watch the rest of this video all the way through i'd greatly appreciate it but if not hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you next time peace out